Wack behind it reacts to Bobby Smurder IG post stating that he's going to shoot and execute Wack behind it and NBA young boy on site. What up, YouTube? This is Gator Radio back at you with another video. I want to give a big salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe and join the Getty gang. Why don't you? Let's get to the content. Okay, it looks like we got another beat brewing in the hip hop. Bobby Smurder jumps on IG live, tweaking, acting crazy, talking crazy, telling Wack 100 he's gonna execute him when he sees him. Telling NBA Young Boy he's gonna do the exact same thing when he sees him. Wack 100 reacts in kind and says, "Hey, the dude is on a downward spiral," and he seemingly gives him a pass. NBA Young Boy responds as well with some choice words for Bobby Smurder. It gets interesting. I'm gonna let y'all get to it. Shout out to Bobby Smurder. Shout out to NBA Youngboy, Wack 100, and Good Burger. This is Getty Radio. Let's go. Big ass. Nigga just said Wax to Bobby. A, it was a New Yorker. That nigga from Boston. He nigga would never say those things. Hey, look, listen, listen to me. See, what happened? If you was a I real New Yorker. That. And you have real that, well. love for Bobby, right? And you know me, right? Which I ain't gonna feed off into it. See, I know you a fake New Yorker because any real New Yorker ain't gonna want to hear their man get disrespected. Yeah, so when you say that. shit like that, right? All you doing is gaslighting to hear dude get disrespected. Who said anything about Bobby? It was the dude who wanted to get Avatar, you bozo. It was a, it was oh, a no, nice that wasn't me. What? That wasn't no, me. No, no, that no, Johnny no, Dang nigga, that Johnny was, Dang nigga said that shit, you clown ass nigga. What did I say? What did I say, nigga? You, are, you the one yeah, in the body. You, that's nigga. your voice. You said it, nigga. We heard your voice, nigga. Don't go, bro. What did I say, Stop though? What did I say, That wasn't me. This is I jail. I said rats. That's I said nigga. rats. Bro, 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 what you just said, though, bro? Show you like that. Show you so what you said, rats. bro. That's you said you want to know Wack, I never said anything Bobby. about Bobby Smurda. What? I never Who said, said Wack is scared of Bobby? You know he didn't say it. Yeah, yo, he said it. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. put my name in this shit. Hey, one mic, one mic. I think that was that. Who said that? That was that Johnny Dung. But hold on. Yeah, because it's only me and Z from New York City. He said that. He go off mic. That wasn't you, wasn't you? Oh, no, that ain't him. That wasn't him. Oh, no, that was somebody else. You hear me? My fault. I'm a real nigga. My fault, bro. Your mic was off mic. Y'all niggas tripping today, man. Come on, man. What the fuck's wrong with y'all, bro? All right, so we're going to solve it like this. One mic on WAP, man. And we ain't going to be coming off of Hey, Bobby's murder, like what I see, he been home. Uh, he came home when a, when something was in Atlanta. What was that? Was it Super Bowl or what the f was in Atlanta that year? Whatever. He been home what two years, maybe three. I don't know. But what I see watching the academics, I wasn't even upset. I seen a young man who just did a bunch of time, who been home about two, three years, who's lost his deal. He got out of his deal. I don't know of anybody's. Re they haven't re-signed him. Nobody's gonna reach to re-sign him because he ain't showing no numbers. <laughs> the industry, as it does, gave him a little boost with the one song, fed him a little bit. You know, he went to jail, so he kind of missed out on them years he could have grew. But what bothered me the most, I'm not even mad at Bobby Smarter. He, he said he gonna kill me when he see me. That's cool. But the fact that this man is fresh home off some gun cases and my nigga, you go on Instagram live and say you already did two bodies on parole. And when you see NBA young boy or whack 100, you gonna kill us or boom us on live on parole. And I'm looking how you moving and you, you geeking and you, your mouth is twisted in your hand. You move, bro. I'm gonna say a prayer for you, man. Cause you, you high. You back getting high. You backslide, man. You 28 years old. You old enough to come out of my nuts. So you know, I would hate for my son to be high like that. Like that'll fuck me up. Cause I know what it's leading to. So look, man. Hopefully, when you come down, you find yourself. 
But if I do see you and you moving any kind of funny, I'm going to knock your noodle. That's facts. So, so that's what that is, right? You know, don't get to doing anything funny. Because I don't know why one man would want to die because he chose to dance in a feminine way. The whole world talked about your dance moves. I don't know how Wack 100 got so much real estate in your mind, bro. It's been like seven, hey, eight I months. Know- I know he was high when he started trying to talk money yeah, with him. Yeah, talk, young boy. man. Why did he say that? Why want to hear your ass? Said. No, and that's real sh- though, right? That is real. You can't talk money with NBA. You cannot do that. This whack. I think the nigga said the nigga said he make ten thousand a month or some shit like that. No, he oh, said he man. made ten thousand a song. Ten thousand a song. Ten thousand a song. Yeah. He, on, he only got like what he got one song. He got young one boy. Song, he got a deal. For like sixty-two million, and he got the one that he was twerking. No, a young boy. He, bro, it's not even a conversation if he's standing on young boy level with no money, bro. Exactly. That ain't even. That's not even to be talked about. Young boy, even. Yeah, that ain't even talked. Hey, 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 you said something. I I really kind of I feel bad for him, bro, because he getting high. Did y'all see the video? Zine, did you see the video, bro? Boy high, boy high. He get high. He He high like a picture. As a man, yeah, nah, you gotta look at the video, bro. He hide, bro. It was a picture of him with like a man in the bed or some shit. Nah, we, we, that's old. We yeah, we man. seen all hey, of them yo, before. Watch this, though. You said some, some deep shit. I can read that things. bang when you ready. All that getting high leads to that kind of behavior. No cap, bro. It do. Like, it do. Niggas get high and get to doing shit, but he gets high. Bro. That, nigga, that nigga went and said, I, got, I didn't have two bodies open, bro. But here go the thing, bro. <laughs> we had no conversations about Bobby's murder since his last dance. Actually, that, that, my last that conversation, my last conversation was a positive one, because I said if I was Snoop, I would go buy Bobby murder out his contract and sign him to death row. Vandos in the circle. I got caught up in the conversation with him and NBA. I just got real estate in the mind. That's a good point Wack 100 is making right now, man. Seems like Bobby Schmurder has had a bone to pick or an axe to grind with Wack 100 ever since that video came out of him dancing provocatively or dancing like a girl would dance or dancing with his hips gyrating and things like that. And Wack 100 pretty much insinuated that he was in the LGBTQ or he was LGBTQ friendly. I think that word got back to Bobby Schmurder and I think Ever since then, he's had an issue with Wack 100, but it came out in a wrong way, man. And it seems like to me he may be on something, man. If you really look at what he's doing, his antics, the way that he's talking, he's really irrational, he's really erratic, and he's salivating at the mouth, right? It seems like he may be on something, man. He may be on an upper, he may be on a downer, he may be on something that has taken away all of his inhibitions, and now he's just expressing himself outwardly out into the world on Instagram which is a bad move right and there's an old saying that goes a drunken or high mind in this case speaks sober thoughts and that's exactly what i think is going on right here and i got a couple of clips i want to run for y'all but we're going to run one clip of bobby Schmurder apologizing after the backlash came of him doing whatever he did online yo let's get to it i was just playing i didn't do nothing to two people for the year i was just playing okay i was just it was just i was trying to get some views I ain't do nothing to nobody. Just I'll be playing on the Instagram. Hey, somebody tell this little nigga, look, I don't know this, and I was doing this internet, but I'm a crazy old man, so somebody tell this little nigga this. I wasn't even talking about him, you understand? I wasn't even talking about you, you understand, little nigga? But what you do is that y'all get on this internet, y'all make these internet niggas, these social media niggas who's running y'all internet and running y'all labels or little word um, on white nerd niggas that spend money on p- in the club. And then academics and all y'all playing with y'all little niggas' life because y'all playing with real niggas, you understand what I'm saying? You hear me, little nigga? All right, cool, because I'm 2-0 and for the year already on parole, nigga. Million dollars up, nigga. 2-0 and for the year already. Nigga. Stop f***ing playing me. Anyway, long story short, I was even talking about you, little nigga. But you, you got yourself some shit. You know what I'm saying? You got yourself some shit. Cause I make my money anyways. I make a hundred grand a week. I still do this. You know what I'm saying? Still do this while I'm being black balls. I don't give a fuck about no views. I'm not a little kid like none of y'all niggas. I'm 28 years old. I'm a grown ass man. I'm in here for money. But when I catch y'all little niggas or DJ Academic, everybody, bro, any nigga I catch like whack, any y'all niggas, I can record this. I'm going to boom them on camera. 
on camera live, you on parole. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna boom on the niggas on camera. On show on my dead grandmother, nigga. What is wrong with y'all niggas? Next nigga call my name and niggas who called my name already. They whack. All that means when I catch y'all on my dead grandmother, I'm gonna boom y'all. On camera. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Did bro talk about me? Cause I call names. I'm gonna call your name. Like, I'm gonna shoot you. When I catch you, I'm gonna shoot you. Like, whack. When I catch him, I'm gonna boom him. What about that grandmother? When I catch him, no way I can see him ever in my L, in my face. So when y'all call my name, make sure y'all notice. This is why I smile like this. And I walk around with a million dollars of jewelry. With, with, uh, you know me. Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? 2 0 for the year. Baby on parole. Million dollars ran up. Ah! You know, I understand? I don't do this for no Instagram. I do this because I get money. Damn, was crazy. I ain't even say this perm having bitch name. Nigga just want to bring it top up. Say, bro, man, you niggas irrelevant and I said what I said, bro. You niggas need a nigga like me to keep you going. I ain't doing no fouling around this bitch. This flunk ass nigga want another nigga to jump out the truck and punk fake and then get shot in his face. Man, you sound stupid as the fuck, man. You niggas dumb, man. Say, bro, I don't want no problem with you niggas, man. Stay the fuck out my way on another day, man. Stop the violence, like I said, man. Then you dicked out behind a nigga, you don't even know. Bitch, you ain't even take no flower to this man's grave. I guarantee you ain't take not one flower to this man's grave. And you dicked out like that, man. I ain't even got nothing to do with the situation, man. Stop playing with me, son. I don't want no problem with you. All right, man, we gonna leave it right there, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. How do you feel about Bobby Schmurder coming out of the blue, going at everybody, going at WAG 100, going at NBA Young Boy, trying to superimpose NBA Young Boy in the beef between Quando Rondo, King Vaughn, and Lil Tim. And NBA Young Boy kind of called him out and said, hey, man, you ain't even took no flowers to this man, Gray. Why are you trying to act like you really down for this person? I don't know where all of this is stemming from, but I do know that if this this thing is not calmed down if this thing is not simmered down we already know the outcomes of situations like this we already know the outcomes of instagram lives like this beefing back and forth on the internet in the hip-hop culture unfortunately for the hip-hop culture instagram beef turns into real street beef turns into real bloodshed people die funerals happen mothers cry we don't want that to take place i don't want that to take place i hope that all of this gets eviscerated in no time man and i gotta give props to whack 100 for this whack 100 did not take the bait whack 100 did not jump out the window on bobby schmurder whack 100 kind of took the high road on this and said hey i know this guy's high i know he's going through something he's got to be on some type of controlled substance he's going through it his career didn't take off he's on a downward spiral and i'm just gonna leave this guy alone but whack 100 did say hey if you press me if you act weird in any kind of way around me i'm gonna rock your noodle and i do believe that that's a fair warning and if bobby smurder just so happened to act weird around wag 100 and he gets dealt with hey i think that wag 100 will be justified in such a matter considering the fact that this man has communicated threats to him but how do y'all feel about bobby smurder backpedaling saying hey i was joking i was trying to get instagram views on that video that i posted right but look at his mouth twisted up like bobby brown right looks like he was high on something he was salivating at the mouth man it looks like he's on something man and sometimes you gotta take your people's phone away from them man if you love these people if you love those individuals man if you know they on some reckless stuff sometimes you gotta take their phones and get them away from social media and instagram man that's a person that's looking out for their loved one that's a person who really has the best interest of the person that's feeding them or taking care of them or the person that's the bag at heart right but sometimes people get yes men around them they don't want to check the guy they don't want to deal with bobby smurder because they knows he's going to get erratic at a time and he's going to say hey man you got to get out of my camp simply because you're trying to check me i'm trying to get on instagram i'm trying to trash talk these people either you with me or you against me man hey are you the type to ride or die at all costs or are you the type to pull the coattail of your homie that may be getting out of control because what he's doing can bring about drama to you this person the entire situation and the entire camp and can derail everything that you're trying to do man maybe bobby Schmurder needs better handlers man y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section anyway this has been getty radio i appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe i will catch you guys on the flip side peace